Here we're going to look at a viewer suggested question from the 2013 Mexican Mathematical Olympiad. It is question six. And so what we want to do is define two functions, f of x and g of x. So f of x is one over x and g of x is one minus x. And then our goal is to find this big composition evaluated at 2013. So we have g of f of g of f all the way down g of f of 2013. And in the details of the problem, it's noted that what's going on here is that f appears 100 times and g appears 100 times as well. In other words, we're taking the composition of g of f and then composing that with itself 100 times. Okay, so since we're doing that, taking the composition of g with f, maybe we should look at that first. So let's go ahead and do that. So g composed with f of x. So let's go ahead and set that equal to h of x for good measure. And let's see what we get. So we're going to have uh, g composed with one over x. In other words, we, have, we will have one minus one over x. So in other words, we have h of x, our new function is one minus one over x. And now we can rephrase this question in the following way. Now we want to find h composed with itself 100 times evaluated at 2013. So let's get to exploring. So let's compose h with itself several times and see if we see any sort of pattern. So let's go ahead and look at maybe h composed with h of x. So that's going to be one minus one over, but now we're gonna put h of x down there. So that there we have one minus one over x. Now let's simplify that. Maybe we can do that by taking this and multiplying by x in the numerator and the denominator. That's gonna give us one minus x over x minus one. Now we can combine those two rational functions by finding a common denominator. So that's gonna be x minus one over x minus one minus x over x minus one. So that's minus one over x minus one. Okay, so we have h composed with itself is minus one over x minus one. Now let's find out what h composed with itself three times is. In other words, h of h of h of x. So we already know that h composed with itself is minus one over x minus one. So that means this is h of minus one over x minus one. But then what h does is it uh, evaluates one minus whatever you're plugging in there. So here we have this is one minus one over negative one over x minus one. But now we can see that this second term here is just the reciprocal of the reciprocal of x minus one. So that's just gonna simplify down to x minus one. So we have one plus x minus one. In other words, we have x. So now we see that if we compose h with itself three times, we get back to the identity function. But what that is going to tell us is that if we compose h with itself any multiple of three times, we will also get to the identity function. And we can see that pretty easily in the following way. So if we take h and we compose it with itself three k times, that's the same thing as taking h composed with itself three times and then composing that with itself k times. But that's the same thing as taking the identity function and composing it with itself k times. But obviously the identity function composed with itself any times at all is just the identity function. So we get that this is just the identity function itself x. And now finally what we can do is take h composed with itself 100 times, evaluate that at 2013, and split that up into pieces. So that's gonna be h of h composed with itself 99 times evaluated at 2013. But we know that h composed with itself 99 times is just the identity function. So this is h composed with 2013. Again, because we know that this just gives us 2013 because it is the identity function, but h of 2013, we can use this formula right here. So that's one minus one over 2013. So that finishes this solution.